Hi everybody. It's late in the evening here, but I wanted to share this. This is uh, Tukan Studios Some Channel Bugfix version 2 and you'll recognize that by this blue uh, text down here. You can still switch this theme with um, Alt and click. And um, I fixed the issue that the equalizers weren't saved with the session. Um, many people had that problem um, that the equalizers uh, were reset uh, when you reopened your project file. So um, that should be fixed now. And um, I fixed another problem with these uh, unwanted uh, audio bursts that auto muted the channels. That should be fixed as well. It is still the case that when you switch the equalizer, it will reset. And that is because um, the parameters uh, don't fit anyway. So maybe um, if I turn up the um, first mids or the low mids in this case, um, and I set them to any frequency and give them a um, a bandwidth and now I go to another equalizer then the frequency could be given but not the bandwidth and so that would make sense um, to not reset the equalizers and there's something new and this is let me go back to equalizer 4 if I turn a knob let's say this Q factor and then I click here it says last touch parameter is 15 peak Q and that follows whatever I uh, decide to change. So now um, you know which knob is which parameter um, of, the, um, of the plugin. And now some things that are in, let me say, experimental state. Um, many people asked about that. That is not a bug fix. It's a kind of um, new feature to this um, plugin. And um, I hope it works. Um, please report if uh, something doesn't work. A lot of people asked for something like, I turn the knob and I press undo and it undoes. So now um, every change you make will be undoable. Another thing is um, now if we want to automate let's say this gain knob here we can see it's um, 17 peak gain. So I put that in the um, track envelope 17 peak gain and you see my track envelope here. So now let's arm that. So now it's armed. Let's go to right. And now I can automate my knob. Put that to read and We have knobs automation. Wow, yay, so cool. So now I hope um, undo points are written correctly and the automation uh, works correctly and it gives you the right information um, on the last touch parameter. Another feature that some of you might have missed is um, if you have a stereo channel, you can click the view meter and then it goes to stereo mode so you have the uh, mode that is known from the other plugins as two needle mode so you have the black and the red needle for left and right channel and now let me spend some words on the um frequently asked question um why the um high shelf only goes up to 6k uh, in this mode and in other modes um even less um let me show you something in this um, real-time uh, EQ curve analyzer thing. Um, 
I turn a knob on the analog mixer I have here before me. So that's a uh, high shelf and you see it um, starts below 1k uh, with the shelving and if I turn it up even more it uh, attenuates the lower frequencies. And now let me deactivate this um, rear insert so we have the uh, straight line here. Um, and compare it to something else. Let me go up to 6k and push that 15 dB. So what you see is um, it goes up and has the point of 3 dB crossing at 5k. And then it goes up even more. And if I change that it um, starts rising earlier or it starts rising later. So here we have the 3 dB crossing at about 7.5k and that's very high. So um, that really depends on the settings you do here. And here I have a, um, a screenshot from uh, another plugin that is not made by me, it's a UAD plugin, and I put that to 16 kilohertz and uh, turned uh, the high shelf all the way up, and you see um, it starts rising below the uh, 1k, just as the Soundcraft console I have here, and it has its uh, 3 dB point at 2k. So. Um, you see uh, that these um, given frequencies here are not so much saying about how the equalizer curve actually is. Uh, I can hit play here, you see me playing with that knobs there. So um, people said, well, it's quite common to be able to go up to 12 or 15 or 18K. And um, well, that's not so common as you would think uh, in reality. Um, things are just uh, labeled in a strange way or in another way, because these values are the values um, that the program actually uh, needs for the filter calculation. So um, the filter should be very usable and very okay in that um, way. That's it for today. If you still, in this version with that blue label, have um, uh, issues with uh, not saving EQ or audio bursts or anything before, please re-report that. Have fun with the plugins and bye-bye.